let me fix that. It's just the water in my sink. That's better. I'm gonna get my head wet. All right, hello, good morning. So I'm on TikTok in the mornings. Usually I'm just like, well, you know, I'm scrolling. I'm not usually doing anything on TikTok. Sometimes I try to Google game out, whatever. No big deal. Anyway, there's this lady on TikTok. Her name's Dolly Day. And uh, she's a southern, a southern lady. And she's in her 50s. She's trying to date. So she talks about her dating experiences. And I love her stories. I love the way she tells them. It's just awesome. So she starts her videos every time. She goes, y'all not going to believe this. Every time I hear that, I stop. And I'm like, not going to believe what, Miss Day? Miss Dolly? What What am I not going to believe? And so I listen. I listen to her stories. She's just really good at it. And I can, like, picture how she's, how her day, how her date went. She was, the way she tells her stories. It's just so good. Anyway, if you don't follow Miss, if you don't follow Dolly Day and listen to her stories, and she's an artist too. I don't know if she paints anything besides beach scenes, but even if she doesn't, she's been invited to like showcase her stuff at art galleries. Well, I think I saw one video where she said she was in I want that. I want to be invited to showcase at art galleries. Oh, that feels good. I love scratching my hand. Yeah, anyway, I just don't think I'm good enough. Um, yeah, follow Miss Dolly Day. She's got some good stories. And if you're thinking she's too old to be on TikTok, there are older people on TikTok and also, screw you, anybody can be on social media. You don't have to be a certain age. If you're a Gen Zer who thinks that some people are too old to be on TikTok, I think that you need to stop gatekeeping. How about that? Um, inclusivity, you're all about inclusivity, right? Don't be ageist. How about that? I'm 41. Yeah, I had to think about it. Sometimes you have to think about how old you are. I'll be 42 in May, okay? So, eh, am I old? No. Am I middle-aged? Yes, because why? It's the middle part of how long you will live, mostly. Most people live to be in their 80s, so middle age is like the middle of how old you'll be when you live, right? That's what I just said. So if you're going to die in your, when you're 80, 40 is your middles. Your middles. If you think you're going to live to be 100, then 50 is your middles. If you're going to live to be 200, then 100 is your middle. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to live to be 200 years old, but, you know, maybe the technology is there. Maybe you will live to be 200 years old. Earlier years, when the dying age was 40, 20s was your, was your middle age. And that's why people got married when they first started their period at 13. You know, it's just because life expectancy was not that long. So people started earlier and then we realized, oh, we probably shouldn't do that. And they realized, oh, we've got this technology, we're living longer, so let's not get married at 13. And let's not have kids at the age of 14. And let's not do anything to get killed. I don't know, something, I wasn't alive back then, but that's what I imagine they started to say. Anyway, I love storytellers. I love stories. You got stories, I'll listen to your video. It's true. I love stories. I uh, don't think I have very good stories of my own. 
but I don't think I've ever told them, or if I have, maybe I'm just not good at telling stories. Anyway, I'm gonna finish brushing my hair. I'm gonna go upstairs and stretch, get dressed, and I'll be on my way to work. I hope you have a good day. We'll see you later. Two thousand years later. Hello, good evening. I'm home now. I didn't have to remember to bring anything home but myself and my purse. My purse has my keys in it, so it kind of be hard to leave without them. Anyway, I'm home. I have here magnet sheet. And I'm just going to make a simple sign to put on my um, dishwasher. And one side is going to say clean, the other side is going to say dirty. So just on my easel I want to paint it because I'm extra that way so do I need to have my smock on yes I do because even just putting the paints on the palette I got paint on my hands so I want to make sure that I don't get any paint on my sweatshirt I mean, it's, a, it's acrylic, so it'll wash off if I do get paint on it, but why risk it, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> this is not uh, having troubles. The hood doesn't make it better. All right, so I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it in half. Uh, one side going to be like green, green, brown. Black is green, brown, and black for dirty. And then the clean one, I'm gonna do like blue, blue and white, and probably purple or something like that. Ta da! Easy. Clean, dirty. You see how I did like dirty? I think dirty looks neater than the clean <laughs> but <clears throat> you get it clean in cursive I know cursive because they taught me cursive right kitty cursive she wants me to follow her all right let's go what's up let me see I bet I gotta clean your cage clean your pen out I'm thinking that's what it is or she's like I need treats I don't know, but I'm going to clean your box. Yeah, I clean your box. Oh, I've been looking for my phone for the past five minutes. I forgot I put it up here. Cleaned out her pen. What? She wants treats. Oh, that's too many. Too many treats. I went up the stairs. Oh my gosh. I went up the stairs too fast. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Kitty wants treats. Am I open? I feel like I'm bleeding. I'm not. My band-aid came off. All right, let's go downstairs. See, tongue is out. Kitty's tongue is out. Oh, there's a treat right here. Oh, here's another one. You must drop these on. Grabbing. Messy face. It's right here. 
Goober. I'm a goofy Goober, yeah. Yo, we're a goofy Goober, yeah. We're all goofy Goobers, yeah. Goofy, goofy Goober, Goober, yeah. I haven't watched SpongeBob movie in a long time. All right, time to sit down and veg out. As you can see, across the street there, there's a police redirecting traffic to that side of the road. But why? Something has happened over here. You can see the lights of an ambulance or something, but we can't really tell. I'd have to go outside and look. Uh, something else happening. So there was an accident, car accident. Not the first one out this, it's a highway, you know. It's a car accident out here. Um, what are we eating? Soup. Minestrone soup. We got, you gotta dress up. We got cre creton, croutons, cretons, garlic seasoned and butter flavored croutons. And um, we put that in our soup. And um, I don't think we have any Parmesan cheese. We got mozzarella. That'll work. A little bit of mozzarella. We do have the shakeable Parmesan. So, minestrone is delish. It's even delisher. More delish. Even more delish when you have it with the croutons, the seasoned croutons, and some Parmesan cheese. Like the fresh grated, not the shaky Parmesan. Well, but we don't have any fresh grated. We only have the shaky Parmesan, but I think it'll be all right. Not as good, but it'll be all right. Where is the shaky Parmesan? Oh no. Oh, here it is. All right, so. Shaky Parmesan, croutons, and a minestrone soup. All right, that's all I gotta say. When you're driving, please, 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 please be careful. The multiverse is real. Time is not linear. I'm going to bed. Toodles. I need.